Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy to see you. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, and we're going to be playing with some playing cards. And we're going to be making some altered playing cards. I have two right here. This one has been embossed. Can you see how pretty that is embossed? And I just put some of that pink tissue paper with the gold design on the back of this. This one, uh, I made a, used a similar design, but I put two little eyelets in here, and I used those holes to tie a cute little bow on there. <clears throat> now you could use these as a tuck spot, so you could glue two sides together, and you could use it as a tuck spot. You could pop it into a pocket or a belly band, or you could glue the whole thing onto a page if you wish. You could even make it into a flip. Now I have two right here that I have started that I decided I would wait and show you how I embossed them and um, decorating them. Now these have not been decorated on the back. If I'm going to use these in that bunny journal that I was showing you yesterday. I truly apologize for that crazy wackadoodle angle of that video. Now, I thought, gee, I guess I just need to buy an uh, over-the-head holder for my phone until I get my camera all moved out there. And thank you very much to Patty, who gifted me through my YouTube channel some money that I applied towards that holder. And I won't be making another video out in the studio until that holder comes, and hopefully it works out. It's so hard not being able to touch the product, to check it out, but it says it will work, so we will see. But I thank you so very much, Patty, for that very sweet gift. Now, like I said, I'm going to be using those in the journal that I'm making. Now, I've come quite a ways on that journal. I have made my signatures, and I'm going to show you that what I've gotten done tomorrow on that cute little bunny journal. Now, how did I get these made? Because that's what this is all about. I have these cards. They're so cute. They're Alice in Wonderland playing cards, and they just look like this, and I love all the filigree on the front, and then, of course, there is pictures on the back that have to do with Alice in Wonderland. What I've chosen to do, on the, there's the bunny, is I've chosen to put my design on this side. So let's go ahead and let's let's actually do two. I'm going to do this bunny because I'm going to do for the um, for the journal that I'm making. So let's do those two, and then for the decoration, I fussy cut out uh, a bunny that came with that kit. Now my kit that I'm using is from digitalcollageclub.com and it is a subscription based site and they have all, all kinds of digitals over there. So I thought that this would be really cute. I also need, and I, I've gotta, I've gotta grab it. I grabbed my box with my labels in it I wanted to pull out a couple just to uh, decide which one I wanted to use. Uh, so let's see, that's a smaller one. I kind of thought maybe those ones I first pulled out might be a little too large for the project. Let's have our shout out now to Donna, Cynthia, Julie, Denise, and Mary Scraps. I appreciate each and every one of you. So we have um, a little labels, a couple of labels here that we can work with. I'm going to bring in some wax paper. Hopefully it will stay put. really need a little bit of tape, don't I? Hmm. I did have some washi tape here. Have a look. 
I have some washi tape. Let's just use a little bit of this washi tape to hold this down just so it doesn't, you know, go flying off, which <laughs> sometimes that happens to me. Alrighty. Oh, and it's not even holding. Okay, we'll just see if that works. All right, so we have our decoration that we want to put on our playing cards. And what I want to do first is, now I like inking. And if you don't, then it's personal choice. Um, I'm going to quickly ink my little fussy cuts right here as I tell you what hashtag Tag Me Tuesday is all about. It's a Facebook group I have. The link is down below. If you would like to join over there, what we do is you show us your version of the Tag Me Tuesday projects. Now, there's lots to choose from over there, but you can uh, stick with what we're doing this week if you choose. I do ask that you don't just show us what you're working on this week, that you stick with the hashtag Tag Me Tuesday projects. And that's because our personalities come out in our crafting. And I think it's so much fun to see what your version of this project looks like because they all look different you guys yours is going to look different than mine and mine's looking different than yours so go on over there after the video and join the group now how you join the group now i've had lately i've had a couple of people i can't accept because they have not accepted the rules of the group the rules of the group are quite simple you guys to be kind to everyone and that there is no selling. That does not mean that you can't sell your things. It just means you can't sell your things on that site. There is one more question you do not have to have the answer to, but if you would like the answer, it is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. But remember, you must answer the question, do you accept the rules? To be kind to everyone and there is no selling. It's not rough. It's pretty easy to do. So I I just want to say that it's not that I don't want y'all in my group if you don't answer that question. It's just that you, know, you just have to be mindful of everybody. All right, so what I've done is I popped my little bunny directly on to my playing card using my art glitter glue. I'm going to do the same thing over here to the other playing card and I'm just getting my glue down on my fussy cut and um, like I said I'm using these bunnies because they go with the kit well yeah, go with the kit and that three junk journals that I'm making in the process of making all right so now we've got that bunny on there now I think I would like to pop a label on here, but I'm not sure which one I want. Um, maybe this one, and then I'm thinking this one needs a smaller one. Maybe this one right here. I think this one might be too strong, and all I see is the label. You know, I put that on there, I just see the label. So I think I'd like to use this one and then that one. All right, so that's been decided. So let's get that glued down and popping it on using my art glitter glue for this as well. Now, you know, when you use your napkins, um, they're either two or three ply and we pull off um, those plies and I, we save them. Most of us save them. So this is one of those. I also have some of that tissue that I used. Um, I used it all up and then I went back and I found it at Hobby Lobby. Now I recently seen some people say that you can order it online. I don't know about that, but you probably can. You can order so many things online. So it's tissue paper. It's light pink. And it has uh, gold polka dots. And I just think they're, it's just so cute. And I think I'd like to just pop a little bit of that on here. Just kind of here and there. I don't really want to cover the whole thing up with it. I just think it's cute. 
and there, right there is where I'm looking for. I think I want to put it there and there. And then, how about here and up there? All right, so once again, I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue these down. Now we don't have to be <coughs> real picky about getting everything all glued down perfect because we're going to be covering this with that napkin. The, one, the napkin that doesn't have any, I want all of that on there. You know, the napkin I showed you, this one right here, that doesn't have any of the print on it. And let's get Oh, I just dropped it. It just flew away. <laughs> okay, so let's get this little piece of tissue paper. Oh, now it's moving on me, guys. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? No, that didn't hold at all. And I don't know what happened to that piece right there. Oh, my goodness, you guys. It never fails. Things start going sideways. Um... What happened to that tissue paper? Here it is. I want it a little bit right down here at the bottom. So we'll just have to get us another little piece. It's, it's all okay. We can do that. I'll find it as soon as I get it glued on. Okay, so I've got that glued on. So let's look at what that looks like. This one looks just like this. And then this one it looks like this. Now the way I think I would like to use these in my journal is I'm going to glue them probably two sides down on a page and use it for a tuck spot. So I am not going to cover the back. However, on these examples that I made, I did cover the back and I just used the tissue paper. Now you don't have to if you have cute little um, playing cards like these because these have the bunnies and I just think that's going to be really cute but you're not going to see it because I'm going to glue it down. I might decide not to glue it down since those are so absolutely adorable. I might have to pop these into a pocket. All right so anyway blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and get our napkin down. I have some white school glue. I have a little bit of water and I have a brush, a brush like this. Now if this was an empty bottle this much would be glue and this much would be water and then you just shake it up. Now this is what I like to use. You use what you like to use. If you like to use Mod Podge then you use Mod Podge. I don't use Mod Podge. It's way too sticky for me here in the south so I stick with this white school glue. It works perfect for me. I'm going to apply the white school glue directly onto my playing card that we have decorated. If I can get this thing to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've been using it today. <laughs> okay, watch me squirt it and then it's just going to go everywhere. I'm going to give it one more second here and if I can't get this open, I'll pause the video and get it open. Oh, here it comes. Okay, so we've got some, some glue down like this. Now I'm just going to paint it onto, on top of my decoration. Okay, now if you're using tissue paper, you will have to be careful. Not too many strokes. Um, and be careful which way you go or you'll move your tissue paper. I've got my napkin. It's one ply, even though it feels so very, very thick. It is one ply. And I'm just going to lay it right on the top, just like that. And I'm going to get my brush again. And I'm going to, I've got it in the water. I probably shouldn't have popped it back into the water so quickly. And I'm going to add a little bit more glue right on the top. And I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to brush it out to the outside. I'm going to need a little bit more glue than that. And when you do that, you can really see the decoration underneath just pop. It just brings it uh, to life. It just wakes it up. I'm going to 
cut this free. So let's see here. Let's just trim it right like this. And we'll trim it right here like this. And then I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to use a pin. It's going to get underneath this card and lift it up. If I don't do it this way, I tend to pull that napkin right off. Look how cute! Oh my goodness, you guys. I think that is so cute. Now, you could use whatever fussy cut you want. You could... Um, your choice. Your choice, whatever you would like to decorate your playing card. And that's what is going to be so much fun to see what all of you choose. Now, this is um, the other one. So, remember, we just add our glue right on to the decoration. We take our um, brush and we just brush it, brush the glue evenly or as best we can all over our card, just like this. And then we take our napkin and we pop it right on top. And then I'm going to add some more glue, about in the center. Kind of helps me if I put it in the center. And then from the center out, I gently drag my brush. Now you can't do this too many times or you're going to accidentally rip your napkin. And you don't want to do that, so very gently. I need a little bit more right down on his feet. I can tell, you can tell because when you brush it, the colors just pop. And you definitely want to get a coating on whether it's the white school glue or whether it's the Mod Podge. You need a nice covering. Now, I don't need to remove that because I can just lift this up and show you. Isn't he adorable? All right, so let's bring in the two that I have made that really is, I hope that doesn't fall, uh, just like what we just made together. There is this one right here, this one right here, and then there's this one right here. Now, I don't know why, but this one seems to be brighter than this one. I think it's actually the the original picture, this blue jacket wasn't as bright, well, as this yellow and this red bow. It just seems to pop a little more with the little bunny here, this bunny. All right, so to remove this on the edge, you have a couple of options. You can take your scissors and you can just trim around the edge. And even when you do, um, you might find that you can't trim it as nicely, maybe, shall we say, as you wish. So what you can do is you can either get an emery board or you could get a sanding block. And I have a sanding block here. You can buy these at like Lowe's, Home Depot. Probably Walmart carries them too. I've used it quite a bit. I need to get a new one. Anyway, so you just, I hope that noise doesn't bother anyone. You just stretch it on here until you get your napkin to release from the edge. I'm not going to do it a whole lot because it make, might make somebody really twitch. I'm really sorry if this noise bothers you. This, If this noise bothers you, this is probably not the method you want to choose. Just saying. Probably not. Okay, so see how easy that comes off? And then it's nice. It's very nice. Now, I would like to round my corners just a little bit better. And so I'm going to use my corner rounder just rounding my corners. Now, because I like the ink look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink around the edge like this. Oh, there's a little piece. All right, so we've got that one done. Now, I'm going to do the other one 
off camera so just in case that noise was bothering someone and then I'll be back and we can emboss one of them all right so I have them both with the edges all taken off and now let's emboss one so I have an embossing folder right here and let's open it up and pop which one shall we pop in the, this one right here let's pop that one in and I've had to put some like cardboard and things together so that I can get this to work for me but I got it to work so let's run it through our embosser and then let's find out how it looks once it gets to the other side alrighty there we are now let's open up our little embossing folder and let's see how cute oh my goodness I don't know if you can see oh you can really see it on this side Let's see if I can highlight it for you, can you so you can see it just a little bit better. Can you see the embossing now? It really feels really nice. You could, if you wish, run your little sponge over the top if you want to. Oh, he's so cute. Alrighty, so this one right here, what shall we do with this one? Let's put, let's put a, let me get my dish here. Let's put an eyelet in this one. So I'm going to take uh, my regular size hole punch and just looking at it here, I think I want it right here. I'm going to put two holes, just like that, kind of at an angle. And then I have my little tool here. And I've got my eyelets, so I'm going to grab an eyelet and a back. You know I like to put my backs on my eyelets. And let's see here. Here's the other back. I'm going to pop the eyelet, the front, and then pop the back on. And let's see, it goes, whoa, it goes this way. I'm popping it into my little machine here and then pushing it oh my goodness that's going to look so cute i love that hardware look on there i think that's going to be very nice in our journal and then let's pop the other one just like that oh look how cute you could even leave it just like that if you want now I have a little bit of 1 8 inch blue, pale blue satin ribbon and I got it because I got the blue because of his blue jacket and I would like to tie, I'm going to give myself extra especially on camera here and when I, if I wasn't on camera I wouldn't have cut that much but sometimes when you're working with a very little bit of very thin ribbon, you become all thumbs and can't seem to tie it. So I didn't want to do that on camera today <laughs> after torturing you yesterday with that video. And so let's see here. Let's trim this. Oh my goodness. He is so cute. Now I don't have my hot glue gun in here. It's out in the studio, but I think that this needs, and I think that's a little too harsh. So I'm thinking maybe just a couple of, yeah, of pearls right there would be super cute. And I'm not sure, you know, truly I've never used uh, this to see how well it sticks. I always pop on my hot glue. I'm sure it will hold just fine. So you guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you jump on over to Facebook and join the hashtag Tag Me Tuesday group and show us yours. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.